Okay. All right, you guys, we're back. Um, what, what was that name? Kind of YouTube. just in the intro. Yeah, we were in the YouTube. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't really watch that much YouTube. So when I checked out your page, I was like, yes, <laughs> girl, you guys, 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 guys. You know, because there's a lot of African YouTubers, but ironically, many of them are white. Yeah, and it's so annoying. So obviously, it's from a different lens yeah. and perspective. It's just not giving. It's not. No. It's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was checking out your videos, I was like, I love that. This girl needs to bring bring your butt. I'm yeah. so, I love so, it. Like, you so are, yours. I'm glad. I just started YouTube. Yeah, honestly. you yeah. did. But it's so funny because I think you were like me, where you just started doing it, not knowing there's a whole actual like. Yeah. Like community and world around all of this. I didn't. I was just answering questions. I was yeah. Like, Here's a video on this because I can't find it. Literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I feel like, it's like, oh, there's a world over well, here. I really wanted like a journal for myself. Uh, like, I, okay. That's where I started in Atlanta. Mm. I was like, you know, I want a place where I can go and kind of just watch my own self. So I was talking to myself. I was talking to myself for a while. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And then people start following you. Like, All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's so straighten up a little. Um, Get it together. <laughs> yeah. So you are Ugandan Canadian. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Canada. Yes. I've never had a Canadian on here. Oh, really? So it's always just been American? Black Americans. So even your community part. in Kenya. Or Haitian American. Oh, okay. So even your community in Kenya is all just American? For the most part. Actually, not from anywhere else. Mm, I mean, like Bahamas and stuff, but no Canadians. Oh, not even like European? <laughs> No, 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 British? No. Definitely wouldn't let those people in. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. European, black people in Europe are different. Yeah, I think black people around the world in there Everywhere. are very different. Yeah, yeah we're very different. But I think that there's different. more of a, a mental gap between black Europeans and black Americans. Really? Like what? Can you expand a little bit? Because I'm wondering if it's the same with Canada. A lot of the ones that I've met acknowledge racism, but some don't. Um... They feel more nationalistic okay. than us. Like, I'm French. I'm blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm black first, and then I'm American. True. But many of them feel like they're French first, and then they're African descent. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Okay. Whereas we feel like that about Americans. In Canada. Really? Because we're always whatever, we're all immigrants in Canada. You can't really be, mm. like, okay, that's really rude. There are black Canadians, but there are very few of them. So the majority are immigrants. So you're whatever you are and then. So I'm like Ugandan Canadian. You know you get what I mean? I'm not like, oh my God, I'm Canadian. Although I'm very proud and happy. But like, there, So you know how it's like African American? Mm -hmm. Is there like an African Canadian? Not really. That's what I was going to say. There are there. Like there's a whole community. No, of, like, like, you know how African Americans are called African American yes. by others. That's what I'm saying. Oh, by others. The label African American. Yeah. Is it an African Canadian? No. Do people say really, that? Really? Because people always lead with where they're from first, right? Okay. Then where they're, like if you are in Canada, like Toronto, like where are you from? People are more likely to answer their country, their background, mm. than, yeah. Unless you're generationally Canadian, yeah. like your grandparents came from Africa, then your parents, then they'll be like, oh, I'm from I have Canada. a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Because yeah. I've never talked to anyone from Canada, and mm. Canada and America are very close, but very different. Very different. Very different. Mm. So, yeah, you're giving me British vibe. You're giving That's me London vibe. That's what it They're always yeah. like, are you from, even here just speaking? They're like, are you from, um, oh, you're from England. I'm like, no. You you give London babe vibes. <laughs> well, I hope that's a good thing. I don't know. London babes are bad, girl. Oh, bad. Well, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Tell me about growing up in Canada. So when did you leave Uganda? Were you born in Uganda? No. So funny enough, my parents left here, went to Sweden, had me and my sister. Then we left and we were like, girl, you, girl, you Swedish. Very rare. <laughs> no, they wouldn't give us citizenship. <laughs> yeah, no, sticklers. Right, right. Sticklers. Yeah, and they, and they um, get for university, so it would have been so dope. Mm. But anyway, um, so then we left when we were like two, then we went to Canada. So I've been there for, well, I was there for like 26, 27 years. And then I ended up being here for the last couple okay. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how was life in Canada growing up for you? Just tell me the vibes in Canada. It's so give me, interesting. Give me a feel. I feel like it's going to be long, but okay. make it long. <laughs> no, we're here. We love it. We love a good story. A little, so she's like, let me sip a mud tea. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay, so Canada's very interesting. When we moved, we obviously moved to like the city area because like opportunities and stuff. And my 
mom was a lawyer here but it doesn't naturally translate so you had to shout out obviously to go back to school and blah 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 so we're living in the city in the city we're kind of in the hood so it was like very immigrants very much other cultures so many different people like even at school i think once a month we had like culture days you dress up in your different wherever you're from from your countries um bring like a sample of food talk about it and we were like six like it was so cute mm -hmm. yeah it was very like learn about other people respect I other people right? yeah. yeah um then my mom graduated and i think we were about 10 and my dad also came back because he went to law school for somewhere else and then came back um, so when they were like, okay, we're good. Uh, we need to get our kids out of our, <laughs> our area that we were living in. We moved to the suburbs. So then we ended up in white suburbia, which is completely different. Mm. Yeah. So that was where it was more like dealing with, yeah, like racism and things like that, where I was just not used to. I was like, mm. I, if I was anything, it was discrimination. It would be like, well, my country's better than yours. Like, where are people were from? You got, you got right? this shit in right? We're like, <laughs> no, like... I'm from Jamaica, like we're, yeah. we're known for this and that. I was like, I'm mm. just from Uganda. <laughs> so it was just funny, like it was very mm. different. So the moving uh, became like a whole world of other things where I was just like, well, what is this? Then I adjusted to that. Um, then university went back to meeting all types of people from around the world kind of thing, yeah. So Canada's really different, I feel. <laughs> from what? I feel like from like America and what I've experienced there. How many times have you been to America? Many since we really young. Yeah. So, what are some differences? I feel like, for example, um, yeah, like what I was just saying earlier about where you're from. Like, if someone asks you where you're from, your immediate answer is like where your city DC. is, and right, right, right. <laughs> Whereas there, it's like, okay, I, maybe you say Toronto, but you're already in Toronto, so you're just like, where you're from. <laughs> yeah. And then people just, yeah, naturally mm -hmm. say your background, yeah. Um, any other differences between Canada and America? I have not traveled to Canada before. Uh, but you've um, met, have you met Canadians in, like, black Canadians in America? The only black Canadian in America I know is Drake. I was about to say, you're gonna say Drake. And he's not doing a good job representing. But it's like, Drake. <laughs> what's wild is how he is, is what we're used to but because we're used to so many different cultures because mm. people are like it's appropriation i'm like but literally you grow around up around jamaican somalians all these people so you end up catching terms and saying all these things people are like you know, drake just swagger jackson i'm like we're very blended probably, <laughs> right. probably. yeah i don't know mix any black canadians really okay mm -hmm. yeah yeah so the vibe is different or like even how because i was here when uh, you're interviewing sam and i was dying laughing um <laughs> Good times. Just good times, good times. But just like um, how, I don't know, just how you guys, it's just different. I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to find the best way to put it, but. Yeah, so people, this is my perception of Canadians mm. as an American. Like, the government is nicer. Oh. They give more resources for health. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, um, we have universal health care. Yeah, you oh. guys have universal health care. So and things. <laughs> It's less capitalistic there. Um, the vibe is a little slower. I feel like mm, kind of, but I'm from this, like I grew up in the city until I went to suburbs. So I always knew like the faster mm. pace thing. But what I will say, okay, you know the movie Get Out? <laughs> Yeah, oh, I feel like that's Canada. Oh, shit. yeah, like it's very like oh, that's intense. Even our race, yeah, like it's very different. When I watched it, I was like, oh, this is big girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, girl, that movie ah. fucked up for a couple days. Right? I, yeah, that movie scared me. Yeah, for a couple days. yeah. I had, I, for like a week, I was like, no. <laughs> you know what movie scared me? It was the one after Get Out. Oh, I didn't Lupita, watch it. Uh, with Lupita, the, them or that us? Them, us, us. 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 <laughs> I was like, wow. Girl, I was having nightmares. <laughs> No, I don't watch that. Like, I don't that like was scary deep, movies. That mm -hmm. was a deep message. So for us, we just look at Canadians as like super family, nice. Yeah. So it's like get out. It's like that's the surface if you mm. experience um, like the everyday Canadian, and you know like underlined issues of micro boiling, aggression. microaggression and racism. Yeah. yeah. What about that Native American oh my scandal God, about crazy. all the Native American bodies buried all in Canada because Canadians slaughtered them terribly but had it's this little halo like oh, so we're sad i know i know i don't know if we ever say we're an innocent country i just feel like they just do not shed light on anything that's going on 
do we say we're in this country? I think we're just unproblematic. Like, I think that's but what we have a lot of perceived problems. Guys, like clearly. sweet little Canada. I think it's because we're not out trying to go to other countries. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you look at North America, it's Canada, Mexico, <laughs> and America. So you're like, oh, Canada. <laughs> just like the rest is a hot mess. Hot mess. It's like a friend who sits in the corner and just minds their business, but they it's have the a lot of problems. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the but, chill friend who you, always comes, right? Though. But then when you ask them a lot of questions, they're like, ooh. You have issues. That's Canada. Stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just don't put, high, don't put a limelight on us. Don't want to. Don't, don't want the world to know the real yeah. issues. So, did you come to Uganda a lot during your um, oh, like, staying, like living living in Canada? In Canada. Uh, yeah. No, not initially. So after when my parents now we go to the suburbs, get situated, get up, buy a house, you know, like. A North American dream or whatever. Then it was kind of like, let's start visiting and stuff. Mm. So we didn't start until I think it was like 13, 12, no, 12 or something like that. Then we started coming um, and like my, my grandma passed and whatnot. And then when Sorry. I graduated university, I started coming every year. Okay, back like, to Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. made you want to do that? Um, I've always, like I said, connected. Like people find it so weird, especially being here. Like they find it fascinating. They're like, "You, what do you mean? You grew up eating the same foods. You knew, like, you understand Luganda, all of this stuff." And I was like, "I live in a Ugandan household. It's just not here. It was yeah. <laughs> moved." I grew there. up in Uganda, but yeah, I was like, in Canada, Canada, basically. Yeah, like, pretty much. The same music. Yeah. Everything was the same. So for me, I'm. Ugandan Canadian. I'm Ugandan first, then Canadian. I love so, that. So yeah, thank you. So I was always mm. like, wow, well, I want to go. And then I came the one time on my own when I graduated, and I was like, oh, this is. I have How to was that? that? It was everything. It was everything and more. It was, you were probably able to like kind of wow out more, like hit the streets a little more, yeah. keep the scene a little more. Yeah, that. Would you come with family and kind of like do your own thing? Well, yeah, because it was such a difference. Like mm. from before that, I think I had come when I was fourteen. No, no, yeah. no. I don't Remember, but it age makes school. a difference age makes a huge difference yeah and there's nothing to do for kids or yeah. adults but at least adults can party yeah party <laughs> so at what point what were you doing what did you go to school for uh finance and economics yeah now i'm a whole youtuber you, you better <laughs> well, like, be a finance and economics major <laughs> ask me if i remember yes. anything that's a different combo okay <laughs> Okay, Forbes. <laughs> I'm so drunk, so drunk. Yeah, um, Did you, were you working before you moved here? Um, yeah, I was. So I worked in like the corporate world for all of like a few months and I was like, I can't do this. I don't like it. So I started a business. What about it? Um, I literally was on the 17th floor of some like Chase. I worked for Chase Bank and I was like, this can all be my everyday life. <laughs> like, Why? I was like, There's no way. The pain made no sense. And at that point, I was serving in uni. Not all uni, but like at a point. So I was like, so I left a job that had flexibility, worked less hours, and I could travel and do stuff to sit in this office with these people I don't even care for for a job. So I you were serving? Yeah, like um, at a restaurant. And I, I served. So I made, yeah, so I made way more that money. So it was like, my mom's like, you can't get addicted to the money. I'm do like, you know that I miss serving so much. Really? I, I loved really do. serving. <laughs> That's why I want to be a restaurateur. I want to yeah. open Ooh, my own restaurant. I would restaurant. love that. I would love that. I want that. to do soul food yeah. because I really love the restaurant industry. You should. I, I love the industry. I uh, just, I just, I was the type of person, I'm the type of person anywhere I go, I'm like, I see something, I'm like, okay, how can I fix this, make it better? Da, da, yeah. Da. So working for someone at a restaurant, I want to kill everybody. I'm like, how is it? It's not hard to be a manager. I don't understand. It's not. Do your job. But I, I managed for a little and I actually still preferred serving. Yeah, really. It's the people. I'm yeah, I people love the, person. I'm a people person. So yeah. I love to come that part, yes. But being yeah. on my feet for 12 hours. <laughs> Around but it goes quick. Stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like serving, quick. it goes quick. And Versus the money is little. Good. You're sitting there like, yeah. Like that's boring. I really do. I wish because right now, even with me being unemployed, I wish I could just like go get a serving job here. Really? But it's not the same. No, it's not the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would never. I can't do it, girl. I can never serve. Don't it. do it. But I did I, in the, uh, a while ago. I wanted to have like a, a customer service consulting business. Yeah. Like around that. Like just. Flipping restaurants and being like, bro, because it's not common. It's literally common sense. It's not rocket science. No, there's not yeah, a lot of good knows. service here. Not a they lot. Don't, I had to pull the bottle girl aside one day at a club. I swear to God. to teach her a drum. <laughs> I 
was like, come here, honey. I was like, do you want to make more money? Let me teach you how to do it. Literally. I was like, you need to this button up on, child. You need to like loosen up. You're asking. I asked for one bottle. You need to say not. It's too many people in this section. I suggest you get two. Right. Upsell. You can't teach people to upsell. Can't sell, so. Right. You're right. You're a lot of selfers. And then I'll teach you how to upsell. Can I just... Yeah. You right into it. No. <laughs> I be telling when I'm like getting served, I'm like, you're not gonna ask me if I want another drink. I just finished mine. Like, girl, I would be like, right. You know and the way you just like play around with your like table. I used to milk my tables. They didn't know I was milking them, but I was just yeah. literally off. I used to know how to make. The charcuterie is so my, good. Right? I suggest you start off with that. Oh my god, you make everything sound so much better. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of customer service out here. It's no. not um, the restaurant industry in certain places. There are great, I mean, like, Mauve and Pig and, like, more expensive places mm -hmm. that you go. You have to go to okay. more. Yeah, of course, you have to pay more. Yeah, exactly, but I feel yeah, like it should yeah. be more common. Yeah, I should. Yeah, it should be more common. Like, whether I'm at freaking Applebee's or <laughs> Ruth's Chris, you still get good service. Exactly. <laughs> more impeccable somewhere else, but at least the basic exactly. border. Exactly. So, you're at Chase. It's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so you're not I still in the vibe. No. So, I started a business. Uh, making accessories, but I sourced the fabrics from uh, Uganda. So that's now what type of accessories? It was just like bow ties, headbands, that kind of stuff. What made you want to do that? Um, I like vintagey things and like um, old Unique. school, old money kind of thing. Yeah, oh. yeah. So I wanted to blend Africa with that. You're so funny. <laughs> Like, do you smell like money? It smells like money, like money. Like money y'all. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I did that for a while. It was going really good, but I burnt out. It was too mm. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would come every year. There was a time I came like twice a year just to source fabrics and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was cool. I did like the Essence Festival. Like I was there. I did so many different things around. Like it was pretty dope. But um, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't sustain it. But I started doing YouTube doing videos for that. Okay. Yeah, and then also like styling things and beauty and whatever, and that's how I ended up in YouTube. And yeah, long story. <laughs> um, does YouTube make, did it make you money? Uh, it was easier there because my viewership was a lot more, well, it was mainly American and Canadian um, than here, which is now blended. It's still more there, but I need it to be more. You know what I mean, like the- Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're monetized, you get paid based off of the country yes the so say sometimes from. like one american view will be worth five kenyan views yeah. which is actually really fucked up it's very yes. problematic and i i asked i emailed them about this but it makes sense if you think about it from their perspective they're paying less for ads who like um like kenyan business oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's why even watching youtube here all i ever see is jumia 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 i'm exactly. like brings uh, some other businesses they need to see the value in online marketing so yeah yeah and that's what they said they said mm -hmm. it's based off of the money mm -hmm. that you're getting from the sponsors locally and there's no one sponsoring Africa. exactly I don't not know. really it's the same people yeah. um because every country is pretty much the same it's about a dollar something two dollars ish yeah yeah for every thousand i've been making pretty thousand. decent money on yes. youtube it could be more i think i make about i would say on average about 700 to 1200 dollars a month mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah around and then i, I have okay I have brand deals as well with Instagram and stuff. So okay. all together, it makes sense. I don't have it any brand deals. How many yeah. followers do you have on Instagram? Uh, not many. 11,000? Yeah, I'm trying to get brand deals. I have, girl, I got to learn how to hustle now that I don't have a job. <laughs> Shit, fuck. I'm, I'm you so, have a I job. joke about this in you these videos. I joke about this in these videos, y'all, but I am panicking. I'm stressed. <laughs> YouTube is I'm highly stressed. Job. I'm unemployed living in Africa. Um, YouTube is my job now. There you go. So treat it like a job. Well, no, it's not a job because I enjoy it so yes, much. Yes, but you can enjoy your job. It's just society made us think. That's, oh, that's tea. Yeah, you can enjoy that's your tea. job. You can't enjoy your job. You should enjoy your job. Society just made it think. I have like about, I have almost 20,000 on Instagram, but I have no mm. partnerships. Um, mm. This week I'm going hard. I'm going in on it. 
I used to be one of those people like, oh, like she's so corny. No, like, getting this partner chance, or she thinks she's You're so hitting on people's too. money. It is no, it's hard work. It's hard work because I used to be like, oh, you thought it wasn't work. You were one of those. Yeah, I used to think it wasn't work. Girl, I'll be cute. Tired. Dude, on purpose. YouTube is not mm -hmm. easy. On purpose, my vlogs, I like to show everything that I do work wise. So, because I think people just assume I sit here with a camera and that's it. And then yeah. I just post magically on the I'm internet. Old. Yeah. No. I'm like, and then no. like platforms i have to like take a snippet from youtube mm -hmm. turn it into canva to put it on insta right it, it, it's, it's a lot, lot. <laughs> it's a, it's very it's a job and if anything it's more because we're we're on a saturday easter weekend filming so like i'm, that's still, true facts. I'm, right? not, I'm in uganda <laughs> and i've been filming all day you've Seriously. been working all day yeah, i've been working most that's people just point. nine to five and go yeah. home and relax and enjoy life but so I enjoy, enjoy it. it i enjoy yeah, it i say, love you're it fun. like i'm having fun right? with you but and it's a trade-off yes it's 24 hours yeah it's a trade-off so you came here how has it been dating? <laughs> she just drove right into it. Um, <laughs> so I came in the pandemic, mind you. So Why? everyone, have y'all noticed that everyone, came in everyone comes to Africa during the pandemic? No, I didn't come. I got stuck here. So oh, I was, I you came and then the pandemic happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was here on a five month trial that I was going to go and like pack my stuff and like, you know, um, actually move like a proper adult. Then the week <laughs> That. Can I guess your age? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Are you sensing it through my palms? <laughs> Twenty-seven. Really? No. But thank you. <laughs> I'm thirty-one. Thirty. Okay. Okay. That's not too far no. off. Okay. That's not too far off. Guess my age. Thirty. I'm about to be 30 in July. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That is so funny. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 27. Honey, okay. you look good. You give you. Thank you. That's all I want to exude. Oh, exude God. you. Yeah, because I want like a lot of babies. So Honey. No, no, they're coming. They're coming. Right. Well, that's later. Hold on. Yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. to that. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. we'll so, right. So, dating. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I came. Uh, I was supposed to leave the week after we were announced that we closed and every other country was like three days and we're closing down. Our president was like effective immediately. All flights are grounded. You cannot fly in a bra. In you Uganda? Were, yeah, people Damn. were scrambling. There were expats crying with their children on the side of the road. I was there like, oh, I didn't want to leave anyway. Little did I know, that was gonna be a lot. So I- Then he literally shut down flights that day. Yeah. That's trifling. And I was, I was at a, my going away party. I think that's trifling. <laughs> in the middle of a shot. And I was like, oh, I don't want to leave. And then two weeks later, I was like, this is the worst. Decision. I'm not leaving. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I need to go back to Canada. <laughs> then I'm here, still here. Wow. So yeah, so a lot of me was like situating myself a lot of my time. So I haven't like dated dated. I was just kind of like, well, I'm just getting myself in order. Were you dating in Canada while yeah. you were at Chase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did that go? Were you just like, babe, I'm moving on? Oh, like, oh, before I left. Okay, well, I had, okay, sorry. I left Chase and then I was self-employed for like three years, four years, and then I moved here. So I, yeah, I was dating. <laughs> yeah, so I was in a long relationship with, I don't even care if these people were friends. I was in a long relationship with someone and it was a hot ass mess. Um, It'd be like that. Yeah, but like, like I said, because Canada is so, I don't know, what's it called? Like a tossed salad is what we learned of just so many different ethnicities. So he was an international student from Ghana but lived in the States for a he very long time. Yeah, but he lived in the States for majority of his life, or like from high school oh. and most of adult childhood life. and adult life, and then came to Canada, yeah. So he was all over the place in terms of- He sounds yeah. ghetto. <laughs> it's giving, <laughs> it's giving <laughs> God being ghetto. I'm so dead, I'm so dead. He's a bit hoodish for me. <laughs> I see, I called it, I can, I can feel the vibe. I swear to God, he I'm very this. intuitive. I'm low key very psychic. Yeah, so you're just like I could feel, feel it. it. <laughs> I swear to God, I could feel that he was ghetto. I knew you were gonna say it. But he enjoys being ghetto. So yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with being ghetto. Yeah, it just I doesn't have a ghetto cousin, smart as hell. Yeah, but doesn't mesh for. Yeah, he's so smart. That's what killed me. I'm like, to be ghetto, you have to be innovative. They have to have an innovative. You, you, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Now, for real. I was like, you're above whatever it is that you're giving, honey. But you know, <laughs> and you don't have time to train somebody up. Hell no. Girl, I bye. realized that. Yeah, hit the streets. Later. Yeah, back to the streets. Yeah. Um, so you, y'all broke it off. You come to Uganda. Yeah. Have you been dating in Uganda? Um, more so like 
you know, casually for fun, like hanging Ugandans out. Ugandans or expats? Or no, Mzungus? I don't know any, actually. You don't know any Mzungus? <laughs> Not really, no. Actually... You consider yourself a Mzungu? No. Although people like to call me that. But you know, I like That's you a lot because you have like a white girl voice like me. Because <laughs> I grew up in the suburbs. Like, yeah, I, like, oh, I grew up in the suburbs. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. like, and even in the suburbs, all my close friends were some type of something. Mm. They weren't even white. All the white kids, I'm like, I don't know. relate. I don't understand you. You don't understand my problems. Yeah. I used to be home at nine. You're having sleepovers with your boyfriend at 16. We have different lives we live, right? <laughs> so, you know, my mom did let my boyfriend sleep over when we went out of town together when well, I was like was 17. Out of town. These guys were doing a school nights, hanging out with the boyfriends. My mom was like, are they prostitutes? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. I know your mom probably was like, don't, no, don't even like, talk to my them children. anymore. No. Yeah. Um, I don't even like saying like white girl voice, but that's what people mm, say to the me. The people love to say that. In yeah. And I'm like, rude. it is rude just because my voice is high pitched. That and just because I, I don't know, I don't really speak yeah. like other vernacular. Like some yeah, people of, love to mock me. Yeah, it's so annoying. I'm like, it's whatever. Very I'm it's like, very sorry. Annoying. So that's why I was asking, do you consider yourself a Mzungu or do people mm -hmm. here? Because I know um, in Kenya, Mzungu does not just mean white. It means like foreign. That's also, what they want to tell you. It's rude. It just means white. <laughs> Are they lying to be nice? Because technically speaking, when you translate it, it means white. So those guys are just... Somebody was like, Mzungu means wanderer of the land. Like, it's bullshit. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs> They're just rude. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you feel othered here sometimes? Or do you feel you blind in when you're here? No, I do feel othered in a sense that... I'm oh, and I'm trying to stop this. It's such a bad habit, but like complaining because <laughs> I'm always comparing two two worlds. Um, but I felt othered in Canada, anyways, being Ugandan and Canadian. So I'm like, it's still the same, but um, I feel more at home here. That's for sure. <laughs> really? Yeah. As much as people like to. Point it seems out like you are a little too fast paced for Kampala. Yeah, I'm hella too fast paced for you. Enjoy some pacing. I've only been here for 24 hours, mm -hmm. but I have a pretty good assessment mm -hmm. of the land. And I feel like you are- I am above. way too fast paced. So how was that transition for you here? Freaking drive me crazy. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. And I think also as a sign probably from God in the universe being like, Rachel, you also came here for a better quality of life. Like not everything in my life has to be so go, 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 go. Yeah. However, I'm learning to adjust certain things. Like I love to keep time. It's my thing. People here do not do that. I've chosen to continue to do it so that the bigger I get and when I'm very super important and a whole billionaire, people You're already respect important. my time. You are important. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> people respect my time. So things like that where people just don't get it and employing people. It's been hell of a journey. <laughs> to say um, the least. My friend who owns a business in Ghana said that too. Like they do, they're just not nice workers. They have no like um, work ethic. Yeah, yeah, the work ethic is very, very, very different. So when you do find someone, it's like, oh my god, never leave me, <laughs> please, right? But then they also have other things. Like it's just a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so what do you do out here for money? Uh, so consulting. I was I okay. Hmm. I do social media consulting for brands and then oh, I have my hello stock. can I hire you <laughs> <laughs> then I have my YouTube and my Instagram which led into brand deals and such uh what else do I have going on really that those two things I think I'm missing some things but anyway, those are the main <laughs> I mean it's, it's enough um do you feel like your quality of life is better out here yeah yeah 100 percent 100 percent your place is nicer um I see well it's getting there okay <laughs> It's getting there. It's getting there. Thanks for the honesty. It's getting there. I feel like people here just come and build for the sake of building to make money and don't consider like you actually have to have proper places. Kenya has a lot more. I could just see on Airbnb <laughs> that they have a yeah. lot um, higher standards. Even this apartment, like getting to this caliber is a lot. So I'm blessed where I can renovate and do whatever I want with my space. So I'm getting there. It's feeling more like a home slowly. <laughs> Was your family, so is your family still in Canada? Uh, so my dad goes back and forth because we have a lot of stuff here to deal with. Like they really left. And luckily they have so much family, like many people, but you can't always rely on family. Like they have their own stuff going on. So <laughs> you have to come and be like, oh, we have land and it's just there. There's squatters yeah. now we have to deal with that. Oh, we have so landlord situation. Yeah, like we yeah. have crazy rules here. Why did your parents decide to leave Uganda? 
Um, there was a lot going on at the time that they left uh, politically and opportunities. Like my mom studied law. She makes way more there than she would have here. Um, here, it's also a bit of a corrupt system. Oh, it doesn't come back to me, but <laughs> I'm being honest. But, uh, you got the <laughs> government. <laughs> oh my God, Stop, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I mean in a judicial system. Well, no, 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 no. Um, That's a problem all across Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. If there's no checks and balances that are proper. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, it just is what it is. Yeah. You know? And people go, like, you can just pay a little bit more money to win your case as opposed to just actually working on it. Anyway, there's a lot. So my mom was just like, no, um, it's the ghetto. So she left, uh, they both left, and then my dad ended up studying abroad too, whatever. So there were just like more opportunities. Although I feel like they could have done that and come back after like 10 years. Yeah, I was gonna say, so they everything. did not come back. No, 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 no. They Are stayed. they ever coming back? My dad doesn't like it here, even though he's always here, which is so funny. I'm like, but I think he's lying to himself. I think, it, no, because he may feel obligated to come because of business, and he's just like checking boxes like Dan Darlene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's just you not know? giving for him. He's just like, this place drives me crazy. So if it's not giving for him, what was that like for them when you're like, oh, I'm going to move back? They still think I'm crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I would imagine. They're probably like, this They still think I'm insane. <laughs> my dad is like, you're still here. I was going to say, they're probably like, should we back? Right? My, my, literally, my mom moved in the pandemic and she's like, yeah, so your room? I'm like, what room? <laughs> Baby girl, I left. <laughs> yeah, honey. I like, girl, unpack <laughs> it, girl. Right? Turn like, it into a, a computer room. <laughs> right? Do what you need to do, yeah. but it's not for me, right? Yeah, mm. so, uh, no, they think I'm actually crazy, but. Do you have a lot of family here that you hang out with? Yes, so bless them. <laughs> Back in the day when they were in university, oh, and you and Smith were talking about this. So back in the day, um, the Ugandan university here was actually very, like, renowned within Africa. So people used to come here to study, like, former presidents of other countries, doctors from everywhere specifically. So when they were there, not many people were going there. So they ended up making a lot of friends, even friends from, like, their elementary school. So all of them had kids around the same age mm. and then when we would come to visit we'd meet them or when they'd come to canada and whatnot so that ended up being my friend group here I so that ended up being know. yeah like cousins slash friends okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so i have a lot yeah. i have a big community here so a lot of people think they're like she there by yourself doing what you're not <laughs> like i'm not by myself <laughs> um ugandan men or ghanian sexier Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so my experience of Ugandan, because I never dated Ugandan guys before, to be quite honest, I was like, it's giving ghetto. Why? Oh. Yeah, I just, because like. Why is it? Tell us why it's giving ghetto. The older generation was just, I was like, what is this? This is just not it. You guys have big heads. Like, like literally. Oh, like, oh, actual size. Yes, I know so many brains. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, Smart. it's a big brain. Yeah, Having a big head is not a, a bad thing. No, 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 African no, no. American people are larger. Yeah. Oh my in God. body I'm size. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so big as an African, but in Atlanta, I'm like medium, small, medium. Because everyone's thick. You feel big here? Yeah. Like in Af in Kenya, I feel no, large. No, in Kenya. That's Kenya. Would you feel big in Ghana? I haven't been a No, in Ghana, I feel normal. Yeah. I was yeah. like, no, 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 no. Kenya, in Kenya, like, I feel like large. Here, These really bitches are tiny. You've really only been here for 24 hours. Have you seen the bums everywhere? You guys I've, I've seen some Jesus. cute bodies. There's big bums. Bums everywhere. <laughs> bums galore. I'm butt heavy. <laughs> bums galore. So, Ghanaian body type, I love, but they're too short for me. Ghanaian um, men. Yeah. yeah it's not, they're like, thick, but too small yeah and then i've been blessed because the ugandan guys i've talked to are tall. Library, they're very tall and their their yeah, bodies I are mean, not small yeah. so i was like there's some thick kenyans out there and when i say these things you guys i'm, I'm just yeah generalizing. we're just based off of what i'm we, generalizing off of the majority <laughs> of what i've seen and for the most part but even i mean the guy i'm dating is smaller he's Tanzanian. Mm. he's smaller um yeah because them two actually are yeah. I think East Africans are skinnier than West Africans. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, the Nigerian body, my God, I can dream about it all day. <laughs> I um, I choose peace. Ooh, I choose right? peace. Right? That's so why I, I said don't mess with Nigerians. Mm -hmm. That's why I said the Nigerian body. I can oh, dream about it all day. Okay. Nigerian man. No, 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 no. They can stay where they where they. Honey body, body. Yeah, no, I feel that. Mm. Oh, I choose peace too in my life. Yeah, I choose peace. Yeah. I don't even have time. Every Nigerian I've, I've this, who's tried to deal with me was already to. I was like, no, thank you. I've met a lot of Nigerians in Kenya. Yeah, they're everywhere though. Yeah, they're bless you guys, Nigerians everywhere. Great for networking. 
and they ride for their people. So wherever they go, they succeed. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. So how have you been to Nairobi? Uh, no, not a long time. Uh, airport, and girl, I think as a girl. kid, I am. I'm actually coming. I'm May I ain't doing shit. I'm coming May 6th. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have other things going on. I have a, a business with a friend, so we're, we're going to go do stuff there. And then I also want to shoot stuff, so. Um, what yeah. business with your friend? Uh, clothing. So we have a, I'm a partner in the business, mm -hmm. um, but it's mainly hers. I'm like a director, but uh, she does, or we do, um, cust tailored women's wear, afro bohemian style, yeah. So we I have a big you. yeah things. We have go into like blog and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all Let's of do that. a couple yeah. blogs. Yeah, I know. Right, it'd be nice because you could take us out and <laughs> show us a different place. Girl, I will take you out for sure. <laughs> it's only a week, and then we're doing like three days in Mombasa, so it's gonna be a dense Nairobi. But I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Um, where Can't have you been wait. in Africa? Otherwise, Uganda. Uh, so Joburg. I went for a wedding, so it was very. How was that? Beautiful. Heart is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thank God Not people, for real. people yeah. like really, but where the wedding, where I was staying was directly under, like um, a mall was directly connected. So safety was really hella there, which was good. Mm. And then the wedding wasn't far and I was with other people. But yeah. I thankfully people like were drilling it in my head. Like I didn't go like, oh my God. Even the Uber driver, he was like, I can't pick you there. There's taxi guys that are gonna beat me because oh, I'm an Uber. No, so I have to, you have to get you this up the mm. road. I'm like, so I'm supposed to go with my suitcase up the road in Joburg. That's good. Enough. But it was a, yeah, right? From the train station, but it was a ritzy area. So I, and it was broad daylight. And I was really on my alert, like anyone's gonna mock me mm. now. So it was okay. But what change so, do you want to bring to Uganda? What what? What change do you want to bring to Kampala? Um with your skills, your culture, like how are you contributing to Kampala? Personally, I wanna see businesses actually succeed, not these like side side hustles. Like how do you create turn your hustle into something sustainable to feed your family and your life? Because to me, I just like as a small business owner in Canada, I feel like there was so much more support. Canada's amazing, like really and truly if you wanna get money and you know create something and then leave but yeah. <laughs> it's truly amazing this is right. bye thank you for all the support but i still pay taxes so i mean i you know you pay taxes in canada i mean canada? in canada because my youtube's connected to canada oh yeah like everything's connected there so still have to but anyway um so for me i would love to see especially women especially also with content creation everything like move from the side hustle mentality and actually run like a business be on time deliver to your customers stop saying uh what's this? have you seen there's <laughs> obviously in kenya people are like dm for price like yeah get all things like that like let that go you're not running yeah. a business oh, like that. I hate that. it's just a side have hustle have a price list girl have a goal what do you, you see this going in five going years back and forth, talking people right already. like you should be creating other things for your business to make you more money like let's be like let's be strategic let's move economically from where we're at and compete on a global scale that is what i want to see happen you know so I, I like push. that thank you um and i agree it's like this african like unprofessionalism that's, that's so crazy. normalized and the people are like no that's just how even it is in the here. government yeah <laughs> This is how it is here. I'm like, are you crazy? You could be, but making Kenya's more money. way better than Ghana as far as operations. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I've been to Ghana too. Yeah. yeah, Ghana. What you were saying this too? I thought it was like a a more elevated Kampala. I was like, this is just Kampala. It is. It's like Kampala. Um, it was really funny. <laughs> I love Ghana. I would definitely want to stay there um, when I retire. Mm, okay. But just not for now. Not for now. So I started. I had only been to Accra many times. Mm -hmm. and and then when I got to Kenya, I almost was like in an ignorance in my mind of okay. what Africa was supposed to look like. Oh, so I was like, this okay. isn't like really Africa. Like when I got to oh, Nairobi, because I was like, this is so like, oh. like, because I was so really? used to like dirt road, this mm. culture, people on the street, this type of food. Like I was just so ingrained in what like Africanism supposed is to be. supposed to be. And like you Nairobi was died almost. in South Africa. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Seriously. I swear to God, I was just like, this is, they're not really culture, yeah. like blah, 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 but really they are culture. That is their culture. Yeah. You know? And I just had this like ignorance in myself that I kind of had to like reevaluate. Like mm -hmm. Africa is cosmopolitan. Yeah, it is. It, it is fast. It is but I was just like this idea of Africa as a rock. And it's not you alone. And a lot of my comments, I get so many people saying like certain things based off of the videos I make, but I'm like, 
is okay we just have a different we all have different ways of wanting to how we want to live here i don't want to be in a tree house it's okay yeah <laughs> i live in a condo in the city it's okay <laughs> that's africa for me yeah, yeah. that's my african it's just a continent like yeah <laughs> literally it's okay <laughs> yeah so you've been in south africa yeah that to Ghana. Ghana. the same time i think yeah as um, sam was saying year of return that december i was in ghana Ooh, everybody times. went everybody that's the one year i did not go really and Where were you? I said, um, um, um. <laughs> I get cultural, I get like anxiety with too, many, too people? many people. Yeah, it was really disorganized. Oh, no, 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 it was good. Sorry, I heard the Afro Nation was trash. I'll never do that again. Are you going to the one in Portugal? I could never go to an Afro Nation anything in my life. It's a really? scam, scam, scam. The oh, whole thing is a scam. Oh no, it's a scam. They're scamming. I know a lot of people going to Portugal. Good luck to them. Also, that one is the ghetto one because it's like young kids, scam, and a lot of questionable things going on. Yay. Have fun though for all you <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> no, it's very young ghetto scammers, questionable. Um, but enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy. <Jack me. laughs> it's not for me though, no, that scam. Afrochella, wonderful. I really hope they succeed. They did such a great job. Um, everything else was good. The clubs were way too packed obviously because it was so busy, but yeah. Um, do you see yourself raising a family and being here? Mm, good question. Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit hacked. <laughs> so, um, obviously, there's no free schooling or healthcare, and I'm used to that in Canada. So, I have my baby, it's like birth them in Canada, come back here. Why? Because what I. What is up with this? I just feel like no, because even in America, you have to pay for. for oh, okay. I don't have to pay but for. But isn't that. it cheap here? To have a baby yeah. it's not about that it's just complicated there's only there are great doctors there's great facilities but there's only so many so if there's anything up you have to fly to nairobi anyway that's so funny that you're yeah. saying this because i just interviewed a white man when i landed he's portuguese and his mm -hmm. wife is ugandan mm -hmm. <laughs> <You're learning. laughs> um, and he was saying that they had a terrible experience when they flew home to the United States to yeah. get the baby. I've had friends that, say the same thing. Yeah, and that yeah. the experience was better here. here. Yeah, I've had both. So the great thing is both of the, like, oh, sorry, I've had friends say the same thing. Those guys didn't have issues. I've had friends who've had issues that had to be flown out, like whilst in labor. So like for me, I'm like, if I can limit that, like if my pregnancy is great, then yeah, like I'll have my kids here. So you'll assess. I'll assess, yeah. It really depends. So you don't want your kids to have a Canadian citizenship though? Cause They're that's something. Automatically. automatically? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I did all my research guys. I also ah. came out of my big age. I was like, but like I want to get married soon. So I need to be smart about all this stuff. They would be both citizenship. Yeah, yeah, they'd be Canadian. Yeah, so like, and we have cheaper schooling across the board. So yeah, I was going to say, university. would you send your kids to public school here or private? No, it has to be private school here. Here, here, <laughs> private school. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I I went to some Ghanaian public schools, and they're honestly learning more than in America. At least our school yeah, system yeah, yeah, is yeah. a little jaded. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, across the board in Africa, we learn way more. We do. Yeah. My mom was laughing. She was like, "You guys learn nothing in school. So I'm really worried about how you're gonna be an adult." <laughs> no, seriously. I'm like, that's yes, everybody though. Girl, you know what? I grew up thinking. This is what they taught us in school. The equator is very hot. Mm -hmm. Everything on the equator, like in our, in my mind, the equator was like an oven. Like you don't really? want to touch like on the equator. Like, oh my God, the equator. So when the I got to Kenya weather. and I was on the equator in Nanyuki and it was cold, I was like, what's what going do? on? And it's not, it's tropical weather. So like the daytime will be hot and at night you're there like. <laughs> we never have been, I've never seen an African person in a jacket in my life in America. Yeah. That's so funny. That's just not what's given to us. Yeah, no, it's not. I would have to Google African in jacket. That's why I'm happy for our channels to show a different, like, yeah. show a true perspective. It's a different perspective. Like I said, everyone's experience of Africa is different and how you live Africa. But I'm like, I'm glad I can show the what I show. I'm like, it's not whatever the hell people were told were as well. Told, yeah, I remember yeah. going, one of my trips, I got back, came back and they're like, did you uh, ride a giraffe? I was like, do you ride polar bears? Like, what kind of question is that? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a wild you have animal. a moose as a pet? Right? It's a wild ass yeah. animal. Why am I riding a giraffe? How has being on social media, like, messed your life up? 
<laughs> a lot so uganda is very 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 small as much as our population is bigger than canada actually we're 45 million people it's a small and we're in a small community if you're privileged you're in a small ass community so consequently everything i do is seen it's quite irritating <laughs> like yeah. the other day i was going to elevator to meet friends at 4 p.m at like a hotel that was it wasn't busy at the time and someone had taken a picture of me and they DM me and they're like, oh, you look good today. Have a good time. And it was like me walking so somewhere in the back. I didn't even notice anyone was around. Like it was that isolated. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that part was a bit weird. So that means like my poor family, <laughs> where my man is out there, <laughs> will be wherever you, wherever you are. Like I need to protect them. He's watching this. He's going to do it. So like, it's like, I, I'm like extra like, like paranoid conscious. and conscious like i'm gonna have to protect them i have to protect them it gets yeah. wild yeah will you turn into a family youtube if you did get a family how do you feel about That's people who put kids on their YouTube? i don't know like i'm every day is a different day to me one day i'm like but what about if my children no when my beautiful children are born the world needs to see them then other times i'm like hell no there's creepy ass people i have to also realize where i live to like granted i have security but still like there's so much more crime going on, so we have to keep that in mind. It's so peaceful in Uganda, but like, it's just lessen the chances for people to try to come at you after you yeah. and your things and your life yeah. and your happiness. <laughs> so um, I'm like, you know, I don't yeah. Know. Do you have friends here who ask you for money? No, because all my friends are pretty decent situations where they can ask their parents. Okay. <laughs> but if they You're were, like, girl, I don't hang out with bros. <laughs> I just meant more so like y'all have other options. Why you come to me? But yeah. I mean, like, if you were to come to me, obviously I'd help you out. Let's not make it a pattern, though. But <laughs> are your friends mostly expats? Um. Okay, this is the thing. What is this? You're a repat. Okay, repat. Well, no, you weren't born here though. No, but I also wasn't born in Canada. So I'm an immigrant. I'm also you're, a, you're a black Swiss. I'm a I'm all over the place. You're Swiss. <laughs> you're Swiss Canadian Ugandan. Uh, I guess. Okay, so most of my friends here uh, went to school abroad. They all went to school to like universities or whatever. Even uni, uni, yeah, all of these things. Americans don't say uni. Oh, what do you guys say? College. Oh, college. But then college is like community college is college. College, college. That's what we call college. No one's like, I went to university. Yeah, you know, no, college. you went to college. Even if you go, I went to Howard University and I say, I'm at college. Yeah, but then we call community college college. Uni. Sounds yeah. like classism to me. Really? Why? You're trying to specify that you went to a university. You guys are trying to include everybody who doesn't need to be included. It's okay. <laughs> You went to Uni. community college. It's so okay. if I did not go to a university, I would say I, I'm in college. Yeah, you're in which college. Which is like, isn't that kind of shameful? No, because a lot of them are tradespeople who make more than some of the people who went to university, anyways. So I need to start okay. letting y'all know I went to uni. Yeah, uni. <laughs> college. Not I'm college. Like, I'm like college. What does that mean? It's a call. It's just <laughs> after high school you go to college. So it could be Howard University, Harvard University. See, but then you're still using college. universities. No, but I never say I went. So if, if I'm like, oh, I went to, have you? Are you college educated? Is a question. Mm. And you would say yes, even if you went to Howard University or Harvard. University. That's what you guys take off. Are you college educated? They don't just put bachelor, master, PhD. Well, I'm saying that's a different examples. You know what I'm saying? So then they also put that. college in that. Yeah, are you college educated? Oh, so they'll put college, college and university are synonymous. Bachelor's thingy. Oh. Too much words. Yeah, everyone says <laughs> too much uni, much uni, 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 uni. Yeah, I like that though. It's cute. It's cute. You're like, I going. guess. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm so dead. You so, went to college. So yeah, we all did. I'm so dead. That is hilarious. But yeah, no, uh, you, yeah, uni. <laughs> um, is your college saying. degree even worth anything out here? Um. Oh my God! In the in the world of freaking uh, titles and names and everything i guess you know i'm saying have you have you been able to Use utilize it? it not really now i want to do more on my channel related to what i studied but other than that no, no. <laughs> i mean i could because i studied finance and economics so, like you can go and like yeah I, but it's just been so many years what would i be doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> do you really? ever plan on using it again i want to like except for like my channel and just to be more like i'm well, actually I mean, like do you ever see yourself in a nine to five? Oh no 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 no, no. No, that's not gonna okay. happen. But like, I would love to be more on consulting and more on I don't know, just like I like economic forums. I li I'm like such a nerd. I like 
like reading and understanding about Africa, the economy and stuff. So personally, I want to be more on that scale, but I need to be, I need to be more. Have you ever read it. the book Freakonomics? No, I haven't. Get it. Okay. Get it on Amazon. It's a very good book oh. on economics and like um, the gritty of prostitution, and it's it's interesting. a very interesting. That's book. my kind of I, thing. I think you would really like. Still it. like documentaries. I feel like this was in a. Was it ever a documentary? Did everyone ever? They did make a documentary something around, around, that? Something around it, mm. but the book is still better. Yeah, yeah. it's always better. Books are always better. Yeah. <laughs> would you ever run for office in Uganda? Hell no. Why? I don't think I can because I'm dual. You have to be fully like I have to. If you had to give up Canada. one of your citizenships, which one would it be? I'm so mean. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> but it's only because I you need so, like visa applications and things. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Canadian, I just waltz through the country. So. You know, passport power makes me sad. It is. It does. But it's a thing. I don't it's the struggle. power of birth. I, yeah. Really who you're truly. born to. Yeah, yeah. Really and truly. It's very, very wrong. Really and truly. But I mean, why struggle? I don't want to struggle. You like girl, I'm keeping it. I don't want to struggle, especially if my man's going to be Ugandan anyway. So, like, is your man going to be Ugand Ugandan? Well, I just feel like I'm here. I'm okay with him being something else, but I'm here. Like you found me here. I'm have you found here. any Ugandan kings that you're into? I have. Oh, I love that. Yeah, girl. thank you. I saw a Maserati the other day. <laughs> I think we all know. Who's this is what I mean. You got a small as hell. We all know whose cars are whose. I, I was like, damn. Mm. Also, it's just not I smart haven't even movie. seen a Maserati in Nairobi. It's not a smart thing to have because our roads are so bad. So, like, the maintenance and who's going to maintain a Maserati for you? I have a Maserati. Like, nobody knows how to, what, they're going to open it and be like, where do I start? Yeah. <laughs> they're going to hop out of your Maserati. <laughs> hop out of Maserati. <laughs> like, hop out of Maserati. <laughs> we don't know what to do with this thing. We don't know what to do with it. No. <laughs> On the road, like, <laughs> like, no. But our roads, like, if they improve them, I'm, we have so many nicer cars, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> Eek. Right? Isn't that so sad? Yeah, that is. Wow. Um, what do you drive? I actually don't drive here yet because I have issues. I don't like down. Do. Yeah, I don't want down. I don't like downgrading in my life. So I had a nice car before I left. Um, and I really loved it. Although I had a lot of electrical problems. But whatever. I loved my car. So me, I'm like, I'm not going down back to what I drove when I was 16. Oh, you're here. bougie. I am bougie. It's okay. You're bougie. I have a Nissan now. It's old. Yeah, but I had an old car before. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I just was there for like 10 years. Yeah, I, I celebrated saying. and only had my nice car for two years because I left. I was so happy. I'm like, finally, <laughs> finally, I'm finally letting this car go. Finally, right? It's happening to me. me. Yes. But I I'm getting so... to where I do want a nice car. I used to not care about cars, but now when I pull up in my uh -huh. Nissan, no, I'm like, I'm more than this. But that's how I felt with yeah. my Toyota. And I, there's nothing wrong. It was a Toyota Corolla. It was a really great car, but I had it from 16 to yeah. like 26. I was like, bruh, we need to move on. And I moved on real nicely. So I'm like, now I go from this happy, this car that was like nice to back to where I, I'm like, no. I haven't wanted over. a bike. You want a bike? Like a motorbike. I wouldn't mind that. It's just too dusty. Like, you know yeah. in Europe how everyone mopeds around? Yeah. It's giving the <laughs> cutest vibe. It's like, giving asthma yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here you're just, you'll end up, your shirt, this shirt will be orange. You'll end up at the meeting, like, hey guys. It's just like, did you shower? <laughs> what, did you Girl, did you so fall? Dirty, Why are you so dirty dirty dirty? Dirty? <laughs> Like, why are you so dressy? No. And people be like, like, yeah, and that's the thing. Expats are freaking hilarious. They're like, all I need is me and my bike. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you came looking like that to this meeting. <laughs> I can smell yeah. that. All you need oh. is you and your bike. <laughs> Nairobi, the roads are not that bad, though. That's good, see? So it makes sense. Like, yeah. You could do that. And yeah, they're cute colored mopeds. They're, like, so adorable. So yeah. I would do that. But, uh, no. I need a car. <laughs> yes. Do you ever think to yourself, like, am I going to YouTube for the rest of my life? Uh, yeah, I haven't actually thought of that. My, like, 10-year plan is still this. Not YouTube, maybe because platforms change. Like, look, Vine died all in, like, what, a year or some shit. <laughs> so you can't always rely yeah. on that. But in terms of the community I'm building and the people and stuff, I would love that to live as long as, you know, I to have take to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the sure. other day, I was like, damn, Brittany, you're, you YouTube now. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep YouTubing forever? Like, you just have to, like, morph it into business. When are you going to stop? Like, when, it, when will, you know? I don't think it's... As long as there's cameras that 
film, I'm not going anywhere. But <laughs> my thing is like creating it into a business was my goal this last year. Monetizing. Yeah. Monetizing yeah. in many different ways, not just yeah. uh, not just add stuff. I'm trying to get myself there because I really just do it. Um I put a lot of time into YouTube though, but mm. I do need to start making money off of it. Yeah. Especially now that that everything has happened but um yeah. it's the fun part have you made any friends from social media yeah i have actually i have i've met a lot of people and they understand also this world so much more which is nice you know well, no, i'm know? saying friends like subscribers not friends oh, who, do oh, who do social media yeah. from subscribers i have I feel like I have, but people are so funny. They're like, I saw you somewhere and I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I'm like, why yeah. not? Just say it, just come up. How I am online is the same. Um, but yeah, I started doing meetups in the summer. I only did one, but <laughs> How did that go? I still um, ended up talking to people. It went really well. It was nice. It was a very invite only um, because I had to control it. Because if I just announced online, Hey, I'm having a meetup. This is where it's gonna be. That it's like you Proper. actually have to. Not even just that. It's like you have to uh, coordinate with the venue and all of these things because you don't know who's gonna show up. How many yeah, exactly. Gonna show up. How many people are gonna show and up? And I really wanted it to be like diasporans, so it's the quality and value was really sharing experiences. So it made it very intimate, but it was wonderful. I loved it. It was so much fun. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you vape? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. It always smells really good. It just doesn't do anything for me. For me, it's a nerves thing. Oh, okay. No. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know it was a nerves. I thought just people just did it. Even yeah. if it was just air. Like shisha. Like yeah, like shisha. Yeah. yeah. I thought shisha, shisha was Shisha doesn't really do anything for me. It doesn't get you high. Like, you're not... It's just a head it's, rush. Is that really? what people are chasing? That head rush? I don't get a head <laughs> rush. It's just like the... Oh, okay, okay. But it always smells so good. Even shisha. And then I'm like... Eh. Yeah. It's <laughs> not doing for me. What's your drink of choice? Um, ooh. What mood am I in? <laughs> it was like in the middle of the week coming Girls home, night. Red wine. Girls, Girls night. night. Girls night. Wine too. But white. Yeah, I like white wine. Girls night out, girl. Oh, girls night out. I thought you meant in. No. Girls night out is just like any night out. That'll be shots. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. If you go tequila, out. tequila, tequila. I go out. I go. I feel like I go out with most of the guys. I don't have a lot of girlfriends. I have a very blend. It's guys and it's girls. Blended. If anything, it's like an equal amount of both. I Whatever have more we guy with. friends and not really girlfriends. Really? Yeah, I'm lacking girlfriends. I just okay. met one um, that we're becoming really cool. Oh. I don't have that, that many girlfriends. How did you meet all the guys? Um, we just click. So oh, so just different. One is from work. Okay. One is from my old job. Oh. Old job! Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this, girl. I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, he's like one of my best friends here, so we oh, hang out okay. a lot. Um, just streets. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's, oh. guys seem to be friendlier. Yeah, which would make sense. So for me, our experiences are a little different. Like I came to Kenya. I don't know anybody. I don't have family in Kenya. Mm. Um, you kind of had like a little base here. Yeah, I had a base. My grandparents. Yeah. My um, cousins and some yeah. Too. So on a girls' night out or just on the a regular night out, what do you do? <laughs> it's the same thing and call up every day. <laughs> it's usually well. Yesterday was a little switch up. Went to the club instead of bars because clubs were closed for two years. So like, I was, and I'm a club person. I like mm. nice experience. If I'm gonna take my time to do my makeup and my hair, give me a nice. You're gonna show up and show out before you show out. Exactly. <laughs> right? Thank you. And I want a nice environment to match. So I'm not a bar girl, but unfortunately, in Kabbalah's culture, we love bars. Bars are everywhere. Um, so usually it's pre drinking somewhere or like eat at a restaurant and pre drink there. And then it's usually the club, but now we're not in club culture. We're still trying to ease back into it's it. It's a big drinking so bars. culture here. Oh my God. I think we're worse than Ireland. At one point, we were. On top of the world, we were the number one drinking country. That's why My you guys are the friendliest like, nation in the world. You guys are all drunk. <laughs> oh, it's drunk. You guys drunk. are all drunk all day. So, of course, you're friendly. <laughs> that actually would make sense. Yeah. I never thought of that. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just freaking drunk. The friendliest nation in the world. Everyone's just drunk. And that's probably also why I work uh, work ethic is just like you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so usually it's that. And it's like bar, drinks, and then home and like the morning. <laughs> it's crazy. What's your ideal date? 
my i anywhere in the world anywhere oh girl oh my god my mind went when it was just i thought you were gonna ask here I, like, <laughs> I don't even know how to if now i'm overhyped but okay mind you this happens in the world okay it's happened to serena williams why not me honey did I you hear her story no when um she was just dating well her husband now but then boyfriend alexis alexis yes and then he was like oh i <laughs> she was like oh i'm just craving like this pasta this particular pasta he flew her to italy to eat said pasta <laughs> I flew her ass back home because she's a busy woman. Oh. I was like, wow, before I get really thoughtful. Oh. I'm actually, I like experiences. So as long as it's extremely thoughtful and you actually thought about what I would like oh. and you're going out of your way to do things, oh. then I'm pretty open on what kind of dates. But um, you put but, some bougie but what ass is your back. ideal date? Your perf Let's envision your perfect date. Somewhere. Ooh, somewhere on an island. I was going to say somewhere in Europe, but let's like keep it Africa. An island. We have so many islands people don't even realize. You know, take me to Zanzibar for the weekend. <laughs> okay. Just because I want seafood. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. You want that experience. Well, yeah. yeah. And with the bougie aspect to it, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when what men about you? order my food for me. Oh, you and like I love that? it. Yeah. Okay, you have to really know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because so, sometimes I don't know myself. Exactly. So, well, exactly. I love a man who, like, my ideal date, you pick me up, maybe have, like, flowers and a gift. And then you're like, I know this really good restaurant here because mm. I eat out a lot. Like, I love restaurants. Yeah, food. yeah. Like, I um, love food. Let me take you here. Oh, this is the best thing here. I think you would really like this. Let's get us this. Okay, Bring if he this actually bottle, did, you have to like, know. he knows my wine. He yeah, knows, you like, have he's to know. really been listening to me. Wow, I, I would actually be blown yeah. away. But if you did this, and you got it wrong, yeah, I'd be so like, irritated. I'm bring like, the Moscato, and you're like, Mus mus sweet wine, because that's our thing. It's not wine. It's sweet or dry. It's not it's wine. Not wine. Girl. And that's all we drink here, because we love sweet things. Everywhere here, they're like red or white. White, oh wait, red or white, dry or sweet. I'm like, that's not how you that's order not wine. wine. That's not how you even order wine. I've let it go. I'll I'm like Sauvignon Blanc, they're like, wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, girl, they brought the Merlot out on ice. Girl, no. no. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, why is your red chilled? <laughs> why is your red chilled? <laughs> Can you bring your manager? <laughs> Even the manager probably didn't. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, he also was confused. And I was like, oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, he didn't get it either. No, he didn't get it. Yeah, um, no, they never. Yeah, did. that's my ideal date. I like that. I never even thought of that just because I know it could go left. But I've seen like cute memes where they'll be like a note with an outfit on the bed of being like, hey, oh, like, meet me like at that. seven. That is some like that. It's just, yeah. it can't go wrong. Because I've had exes surprise me and I was like, this is ghetto. Yeah. So like I've, I've been on the other end of it being like, you weren't listening. <laughs> Do you ever see yourself living in Canada again? No. I want to keep Canada forever for like investment, investing um like growing my money and stuff because i'll never let go of canada but living there no mm. no there have to be some real reason why i'm there yeah what's your favorite beach Ooh, ooh. i don't know but the one that i really loved that i just thought of immediately was cuba yeah, I've never been to Cuba. Oh my god. Well, yeah, because you couldn't. Because I'm American. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to be like, what? And I was like, because the Canadians are always in Cuba. I cannot believe really that other oh. people in the world are really visiting Cuba and America. Well, really, can't. now that I think about it, you really don't need to because you have Mombasa and Zanzibar. You don't need to. That's so going. ghetto. Child, being really? an American is so ghetto. Yeah, but no, I know. That's why I was trying to be nice <laughs> earlier. I was like, <laughs> I was like, he said, I know. <laughs> traveling every time i'll be in europe and it, when people would meet me they'd assume i'm american then i'll be talking about canada and they're so much nicer people are like oh sorry <laughs> they, they don't they don't even at the school i was working at, i felt like all the europeans thought i was stupid that too because also, Damn! i hate to say it and I, this is oh did you ever watch what was that show i love real estate um that um the property selling tampa i was selling tampa with the black girls yes. yeah did you watch it yeah they dumbed it down did you ever watch selling sunset no i never oh, watched girl. selling sunset but i did watch selling tampa uh because i'm obsessed with real estate so i watched all of selling sunset and i was like wow they shut us so bad 
as black women in like I was like they gave Real Housewives and a dash of Housewives. Yeah, it was. I was like, yeah, it was Real Housewives. housewives. I'm like, we already have like, Real Housewives. We don't need this. I've never seen Selling Sunset, so I can't compare. But they I actually was like, sell this homes. Is ghetto. They actually sell homes on Selling Sunset. They didn't sell a freaking home. On Selling <laughs> they didn't Sunset. sell nothing, girl. Nothing. Every episode of Selling Sunset, at least two homes are sold. That. And they're like, no, it was a transition because we're turning into a luxury boutique. I'm like, then show us selling your regular ass homes. Then. They were fighting over something. that same one house the whole season. <laughs> I was like, this was so, so I, I hate it because it sells and makes people money. But I'm, like the portrayal of black people on American television is just so bad. And that's what people assume. It's so sad. Yeah, because all you see is Real Housewives and Love and Hip Hop. And, and all of this stuff. That's what they see here, especially, too. So that they assume, like, oh, you're coming from North America. Then they just think, like, money, all of these things. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, bro, you still have to work. All of those people, it's different. Yeah, it's TV not is falling off the great. trees. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> so That is wild. I'm so mad you just said, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a bit. I'm being sad. I'm not Kenyan. So I'm not American anymore. Kenyan. Okay, I'm Kenyan. Mia Sam yeah. first had this combo and it was for hours. She was so offended that at the end of it, she was like, "Yeah, <laughs> kind of right." It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's truly embarrassing. It's, I hate to say it. Um, how did Canada react to the Black Lives Matter movement? I was here for it, so even my reaction was how African, um, which is sad, but. A lot of people, it was a usual reaction of Canadians to support <laughs> the, you know, a oh. problematic, yeah, like things like, but like we got to, we still experience a lot of things. I think it's just a smaller version, but still there, like of what happens in America, but it's so much smaller. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say like, did y'all have your own movement? Yeah, they, everyone marched too. They did the same like, yeah, like yeah. of everything in Toronto. I saw videos and pictures because I wasn't there, but um, there was a lot of, yeah. So a lot of conversation around it, for sure. It's just experience is a bit different. It's still there, it's still racism, but it's just a bit, yeah. Give my subscribers a piece of advice. Um, I feel like... What is just your biggest, like, almost like, everyone just has something that they kind of like stand on or you've experienced, so you... I always feel like it depends on the topic, but I think if it's just... Just vaguely. Vaguely. <laughs> um, live your life for you. If you feel like you want to go and experience something, go and do it. If you want to go to Africa, go and do it. If you want to go to Timbuktu, go and do it. Yeah. <laughs> go and do it. Obviously, be smart about it. Don't be a me. Don't just pick up and go somewhere. Like, research and go do, do your due diligence and whatnot. But um, I feel like go live your life for yourself. And I think the pandemic really taught us that that life anything can happen and a lot of us weren't living so go and do the things that you want to enjoy or what you enjoy doing and go see life I life isn't that. just what you see every day every day it's like yeah there's so much more and you I only have that. one yeah <laughs> thanks i do I really think that is a good piece of advice thank you well, um, y'all hit up her channel yes please please do. subscribe to her support her watch her please um, come through it's yeah an interesting time this has been fun it was i like going to see you again soon yes for sure i'm excited to come to kenya i think like i'm going to drag you to governor's tonight ah uh, i went to illusion last night guys if you know you got that oh my god it was a lot it was yeah. a lot. I was, was really fun. underwhelmed with Paponi or whatever. The oh, La Peroni. I told her if I had met, if we had done this today and you were going tonight, I would have told you not to go. Yeah, it was just giving ghetto. It's ghetto. Yeah. No, I love a little ghetto spot. But yeah. if it's going to be ghetto, just give ghetto. Don't give I want to be classy, yeah, like, but it's I'm turning, going but it's ghetto. To a ghetto spot. Yeah. If, if I'm at a classy place, I want to be the most hood thing because I've drank and I've turned up and I'm like, you know. But other than that, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I do want to go to like a local spot though. I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> Lord, the bougie. The bougie. Like, it's just too bougie for me. It's too bougie. Like, you live here. La Perotis. That was pretty. Was that the local spot? <laughs> Was that the local? Okay, maybe the bars, the bars. Yeah, There's a strip like a of Bandali rice. Go, chill. go on Bandali rice. Food. Oh, okay, no, you wouldn't get that. But it's just like, a bar. while you're out at night, local food? They don't serve food at bars? No, they do, but it's like 
not local food. It's not like our tra like a traditional food. Is that oh. what you mean? Well, no. Like in Kenya, a lot of bars will have like Noma Choma or like oh, okay, yeah, then like street food. Okay, so in Bugalopi, the area, there's a road called Bandali Rice. For those of you who know Uganda, you can hop around to different bars and places. You're not attached mm. to one. There's food. Yeah, there's Muchomo and stuff. I'm gonna like do that, that tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's Sunday. It's much better too. Really? Yeah. That's so sad. What? Why is Sunday the most popping day? It's the so, day of rest. Because Friday and Saturday, it's just ugh, like the spots that you enjoy, there's too many people. It's not the same. Mm. So Thursdays are a nice night. Sundays are a nice night. It's just okay. wild because Monday is a work day. But. <laughs> yes, I'm just like, <laughs> why is Sunday the most popular night? We're supposed to be resting because we got to work. Right? I know. What is <laughs> wrong with y'all? But it's Easter too, so Monday is a holiday. So Sunday will be nice. That's facts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, yeah, you guys, it's been real. Thanks for having Don't me. Don't get used to this camera view because I do not have an iPhone 13. This is her phone. So if you enjoyed the I'm HD vibes, like so soak it in now because you ain't getting the next video. The real cinematic views over here. If you want to see this shit, go to her channel. I'm just kidding. I'm, dead. I'm so dead. Bye, you guys. Bye.